Hello everybody and welcome back to the Norwegian 737 project. Well, the side walls are done. They are installed, painted, detailed. The raceway covers are on. They only they just have to be painted black and they have to be detailed too. Uh, I even uh, got so far to install the steering tiller from uh, Rutec. You remember I ordered this up like a year and a half ago. And now finally it's installed into the flight simulator. That's a good looking uh, unit right there. So things are finally uh, starting to uh, near. Well, we're getting closer to installing uh, hardware now, all the electronics. And uh, as you can see, the whole perspective of the sidewalls and everything is quite different. It looks so much better. So, so much better. And uh, while, uh, while at it, we uh, did get to finish the rear walls. And this to just change the whole, I don't know what you call it, facade of the flight sim. It really looks, well, it differentiates between the outside and the interior. And man, it looks good. It looks unbelievable. And that's the painter right there. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the shell. Well, there's one more thing I did forget to mention. I were able. I was able to, to to get a hold of the that little holder for the map. So I painted it black and installed it, and it added um, a little bit extra to the interior detailing. And next project, the main instrument panel will be installed in not too long. And look at this. This is just unbelievable. This is the first time we've ever seen this thing with uh, the autopilots, EFIS, and everything installed. And look at how the underside of this thing came out. Now, I challenge you to go find original pictures of the 737 and get back to me if you find anything wrong or anything that differentiates between the original Boeing <laughs> and this underglare. No freaking way. Even to the point where the nail, the screws are just dummy screws, but they're placed exactly where they need to, do, need to be compared to the original airplane. So today we've been working our ass off and some of you guys with a sharp eye will probably notice that these, um, oh man, what are they called? The glare wings have been redone, completely redone. I tore off everything and made completely new ones. Um, I have, uh, I have, there's a little bit more details to it that haven't been mounted quite yet, but I'll do that in not too long. Let's see if I can find out the direction. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, the the panel for the the st clock start of or the glare wing, or, or or push to talk. So yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys. This is the the fairing for when the when the top cover comes on. It will meet right there, just like the original thing does. And. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I showed you the top part before. So that's the rear side of the autopilot modules. You just need to get it hooked up and it'll be ready to go. So yeah, I just wanted to shoot you guys this video to show how this thing looks and man. Oh yeah, by the way, this is not wood anymore. This is steel or aluminum right here with a bent edge. Man, it looks, it looks unbelievable.
unbelievable. So this thing is going to look so good when it's done. So yeah, as I said, next step is to mount the main instrument panel inside the cockpit and, and construct the glare panel. I mean a panel that's going on top. And when that's done, well, we're going to tear the main instrument panel out yet again and get everything painted and start installing the electronics. And I'm pretty darn sure that by the end of next week, this simulator is going to look totally different. I can almost guarantee you. But I hope you guys enjoy this little video and uh, I guess I don't have any more left to talk about. So have yourself a good day. Bye bye now.